Greetings fellow humans. Today we will be routing a Kindle Paperwhite 3. This is out of the box, European version. Just as a disclaimer, uh, this thing can and probably will brick your Kindle if you don't know what you are doing. So don't blame me for that. You have been warned. And yes. It's difficult to do properly. Uh, there are some steps that can be followed to maximize your chances of success. Eh, come on. But this is by no means a guarantee that it will work for you. Just to demonstrate what works for me. So this is the Kindle Paperwhite 3, as I said, European version, out of the box. It's very important to know that the out of the box thing... Hang on, I'm gonna disclose my personal information there. Yes, the out of the box thing is very important, because if your Kindle updates, it's pretty much game over for you, because as of right now, there is no known attack vector for uh, 5.9 firmware, which is the current firmware, which is what your Kindle will update as soon as it can. There is no direct attack vector on the firmware with which it comes either. However, it being out of the box firmware, it will allow us to downgrade and that's important because downgrading will allow us to upload a firmware which is vulnerable to some of the attack vectors and that's part of the problem like if you do get the upgrade the over there upgrade then it's game over for you because uh, that one cannot be downgraded. Like this one, if you upgrade to this firmware as well, it cannot be downgraded either, but it being out of the box, there is probably some sort of counter which does let you do that. So, as you can see, this is just a stock Kindle Paperwhite. And as you can see, it's, it's completely brand new out of the box. As I explained before, that's important. So, the procedure is following. First of all, we'll turn it off, but we need to be fast here, because this is the 3G version, which means as soon as it's on, it's starting to download the new firmware, and we don't want the update to happen at all. That's a very bad thing. So we push the button. We push the button, or hold the button. We hold the button, I see. This might take a little while, but what we'll want to do is, as soon as we can, we'll exit the, the configuration, we'll go for United Kingdom English, and first startup always takes a little while. By the way, the instructions we'll be following are described at the Mobile Reads wiki page. It's, it's quite a long thing to read. But I really do recommend you go through all of this because it's really important. Uh, and we'll be using these packages from Niluye. They are snapshots, which means they are the newest Packages. I already downloaded some of them. I will post the link in the description. 
just so that you don't have to google for that okay we will set up wi-fi later connecting to amazon it's using the integrated 3g we will skip this and you can skip registration by clicking create new account even if you have a new account we will select the region for example australia it's good to select one where they have good reads come on because good reads is quite a convenient feature and we can click set up later come on right and as soon as this happen click settings and flight mode because we by no means want the download to happen that would be a very bad thing and would completely stop us from doing what we want but now we are safe now we are in fl flight mode and we can work with this so the first thing that will happen is getting a downgrade to a version which we can attack. The downgrade we will be using is uh, version 5.8.9.0.1. Just first of all, let's check what firmware we have. Not that it matters because the out of the box firmware should pretty much always be attackable. Let's look at device info. So we are running at 5.8.11 and that one is not vulnerable. So we would not be able to uh, root this version or actually we would not even be able to downgrade this version if this would be uh, installed through an update. But as I said before, this being an out of the box version, we can do this pretty easily. So what we will do, we will take a USB cable. There we go. Right. So we take this file and we put it directly into the root folder of the Kindle, like so. This will take a while because it's a large update. It's but anyway, as soon as that's done, I'll come back. Okay, almost done. Right, so now that this is in place, we safely remove the device just to make sure the file is flushed properly to the to the memory of Kindle and now we go here and we click update your Kindle. Keep in mind this will not actually cause an update, this will cause a downgrade but we do it through button. A lot of things will be installed through this button as you will see in the future. Okay and now a very long process will come. Like it's not uncommon for this to take 10 minutes so I will not be recording the whole thing uh, if you start getting worried, just wait a bit more. Uh, as I said, it's very common for this to take a very long time. Anyway, I'll come back once this is finished. You should not be, you should not have to do anything. This will be all automatic. Yeah, I'll be back as soon as it will require some more user input. Okay. Hello, welcome back. Well, this screen appears and it's been hanging there for like over five minutes. I haven't been counting exactly, but way too long time. Uh, it kind of makes me uneasy, but as you can see, <laughs> as soon as I started recording, it actually started progressing. So uh, it didn't get stuck. It does require an awful lot of patience and uh, yeah, chances are it will work out just fine. That being said, still be careful and do your prerequisite reading and don't blame me if it does go wrong. But 
that I have said in the disclaimer before the video, so you should already expect that. Anyway, looks like it's gonna boot up soon. And as soon as it does, we can move on to the next step. Hmm. Ah, there we go. Okay, so first thing to verify is that we are still in flight mode, which is the case, because we still don't want the update to happen, because all we have done so far was downgrade the device. We did not install the jailbreak or anything like that yet. So if it would upgrade, that would be game over for us. We don't want to register our Kindle. Yes, we want to plug it into the computer and now we will move on to the uh, factory jailbreak, which I have downloaded already. And that is that file over there. So we open Kindle and again, move this file into the root directory of the Kindle and safely remove again. So we'll eject. And now back to the Kindle. We don't want to register just yet. I suppose you could, but out of principle, I'm not going to. And now to actually install the jailbreak, we'll need to tap the search bar and enter semicolon. install and html you tap enter ah, i mistyped that's what happens when you do things on the camera install html and not in subtle come on my apologies there we go, install HTML, you, pr you tap enter. And your Kindle will reboot. And as it, soon as it starts up again, you should see a new file in your home screen, verifying that your Kindle has been jailbroken. And that is a major win for us. You are jailbroken, and that's an awesome thing to see. Save to delete this document. Now we will need to install the hotfix package. Now, regarding that, what I have done previously, and what didn't work out for me too well, was I used the original hotfix package that you can find on the forum, which I will show you in a second. So I used, which hotfix did I use? I used this hotfix here, but that hotfix, to my understanding, only works uh, up to version 5.8.x. Uh, it does not work with 5.9 firmware, for example, which is the current one. Uh, there is a version with no max uh, version. So I will be trying to use that one today. As I said before, I haven't tried myself, so maybe this will completely fail, in which case I will refer you to the previous package, but I mean, we must try at some point, right? So we will use the no max hotfix. Now that's in. By the way, this file we can now safely delete. Again, eject Kindle. Unplug this. It's very persistent with the request to register it. Now we go back to settings. 
By the way, I forgot to show you in device info that now we are downgraded to the very particular version, the 5.8.9.0.0. .0. That one is vulnerable to the trick I just showed you, the one with the install HTML. Anyway, we copied the file over and now we click update Kindle again. All this does is it will install the hotfix package. Yes, we would like to continue. So again, it will restart. Yep, this one should be fast because it's only a small package. Now it will boot up from scratch again. And then the last thing for us to do is to install Qual, the little book through which you will run all of your programs. Ha, you could see that there was a jailbreak thing text down there during booting, which means that we have been able to get to the root system. Otherwise there would be no way for us to influence what the loading screen shows. All right, here we are with our properly rooted Kindle. Uh, at this point, it should be safe to update the newest firmware. However, Given my past experience, I will probably explore, explore options how to completely disable updates. It's a bit invasive process because the updates are usually pretty aggressive and we don't want them to happen when we are not expecting them. So I might post in the description how to do that, but I haven't spent much time looking at it. Next thing we will do is install Qual. That will go into a documents folder of our Kindle. So we will take the Qual KDK and put it in documents like so. Now eject again. Then we go into my library. And here we go, Kindle launcher, which we can open and we can start using our Kindle to the full potential. I might, anyway, my memory card is running out, so I'll show you in the next segment. All right, now that we have Qual installed in the Kindle, we have full access to all features of Kindle that we can use. So the first thing we should do is install the mobile reads package installer or Mr. Pi, because this version of firmware does not allow us to install packages uh, through the .bin file method. We will need to use the mobile reads package installer. It works in the way that's inside of your Kindle root directory, focus. Inside of your Kindle root directory, it will create a folder called MR packages and into that folder you can dump all of the files that you want to install. So for example, what we will want to install is uh, the terminal. However, that one looks like it's not installed through the Mr. Pi. It's installed by extensions and then it's just executed. So, kterm, then it's just executed through Qual. It does not need proper installation. Yeah, I'll show you that it actually worked. Uh, what we will need to install through Mr. Pi is uh, screensavers. And we'll use this file install for paper pay provide free and you can see that's a 
let's say, .bin file. So on previous firmwares, firmwares, it would go into the root directory and you would click update your Kindle again and install it that way. But on this firmware, you need to use the Mr. Pipe in, uh, installer. So I'll just show you how to install these example programs, the terminal and, and screen savers. So you can see that terminal went into the extensions directory, which means it shows up directly here. This is a proper terminal. So you can run your usual Linux commands and your root, which means you have total control over a this entire Kindle. And I think that's amazing. Yep, the Kindle is yours. You can do whatever you want with it. I think the update happens through cron tab, but I will need to look into it. Anyway, let's log out and let's install the let's install the screensavers hack. So that will be done through helper. The mobile reads package installer. You just click on that and it runs its own little thing by the end of which you should have working screensavers. Yep, now it will restart and by the end of that you'll be able to use screensavers. By the way, this bar here is still visible because the screensaver program didn't clear it up. <laughs> it's not taking that long to work with the screensavers. Anyway, now that the package is installed, you can verify you have your own screensaver hack installed. Right, so next step to do would probably be to install the USB network hack, uh, fonts hack, and all of these other programs, but that's up to you. Now, off you go exploring the mobile reads forum, find cool programs that you want to use, put them on your Kindle, and report back in the comment section. Until then, I hope you had a good time, and you be good, fellow humans. Bye.